Hi, this is Dirk with Remodel AI, and I'm here with another user request from Erica. Erica would like to basically completely renovate her living room. She wants a lot of changes. She wants cream or off-white paint on the walls, uh, remove the crown molding around the top, add some hardwood floors, keep the fireplace, but replace the mantle with natural wood. I think that'd be a great idea. Um, add a full built-in shelving system around the TV and then keep the sectional but remove this chair. Um, so we're gonna jump over to the app here and show you how to go about doing this. Now again, I'm on my iPad emulator here, so it's the same app as from the Play Store, the App Store that you're running on your phone. It's just on the phone, it might look a little bit different layout-wise, but it's the same process. So I'm gonna click on the interior editor and I'm gonna load up Erica's image, which was here. So we're basically gonna do all this with repeated operations of using one of probably two tools, the full remodel and the replace. And you can get a lot done with just these two tools. And actually I'm gonna start at the end of your list. I'm gonna use the replace tool first to remove some of the objects. So I'm gonna remove this, looks like a dog toy. I'm gonna to remove that little artifact. I'm gonna remove this chair. This is a process called masking and essentially the replace tool is going to use AI to replace the area of the image that we mask over. Now we're actually gonna replace it with nothing in this case because we wanna get rid of the chair. And I need to cover all the shadows. That's one of the tricky things about the tools. It's gonna put another chair there if it sees a shadow on the wall. So make sure you give it a mask that's plenty big that covers all the objects. So it's gonna only replace this area of the image. And then I'm gonna type in uh, empty room to give it some encouragement to basically put nothing there. Now again, it's not going to give me a completely empty room because it's only allowed to change these pixels that I've masked over. But that's just some guidance that you can give the AI. So if I wanted, you know, a plant there, I could type plant. You can replace the area of the image with anything. Uh, but in this case, I just want an empty space or an empty room. Um, you can put things like nothing, empty, uh, open space, you know, things like that. Or you can even try it with no prompt at all. Um, a lot of times it'll work just if you're trying to remove things with no prompt at all. And that was pretty good. That one's pretty good. I think this middle one's probably the best. Or that one. They're all fine for our purposes, actually, because we're about to remodel this room anyway. So I'm just gonna click accept. Again, you can hit generate there as many times as you want to get the perfect image. Now I'm gonna go about using the full remodel tool to completely remodel this room and do a lot of the things that you asked for. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm not gonna use one of the preset styles. I'm gonna go over here to custom style and I'm gonna type in a beautiful living room, white or maybe off white walls. Um, white oak hardwood floors. I think what was else did you ask for? So we wanna keep the brick fireplace. I'm gonna say brick fireplace uh, with natural wood mantle. Um, what else did you ask for? We're gonna say uh, flat screen TV in middle of room because we wanna keep the TV um, you could just describe as many things as you want here. Um, I would encourage you to experiment and try different things. You can have very long prompts, but we're just going to try this. Uh, so essentially, it's going to remodel this room. It's going to keep the existing layout, so the existing 3D structure of your room. It's going to try to match that as close as possible, but it's going to try to match this description. Oh, that's really good. I did paint the brick here. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and that it added more brick. That's too much brick. But again, you don't have to, you know, get the perfect, although I do really like that mantle. Um, but let's say something like unpainted brick or red brick. Let's just say red brick fireplace. 
and then let's try again. Because actually, I really liked everything about this image. The floor, I just don't love the painted brick. Even that's a nice little painting over there. And it did actually already get rid of the crown molding, so we're not even gonna have to do that. But let's just try that again. I wanna see if I can get an unpainted brick fireplace. Uh, I know painting brick is very popular these days, and it does look great in some rooms. Um, but once you paint brick, you can really never go back. That's too much red brick. I really like that. That's quite good. Although it did kind of wood here, which nobody would put wood there because... Um, but we can fix that in another operation. But I would encourage you to... Let's just get rid of the red. It seemed to make it worse. Just sit here and hit generate over and over again and try different prompts until you get an image that's close to what you love. You, you don't have to get everything right because, again, you can repeat process with the replace tool and things like that to swap out things that you don't like. Uh, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just gives you some different images to look at to help you go about building your vision of what you want to do with this room. You know what, let's go back to this and work with this one. I like this one. We'll fix this wood here later. Um, and get, well, I really don't like that TV. I'm just gonna hit generate again here and see if we can get a better result. I really like this. That makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, we can get rid of this fireplace here in a second because we don't need another fireplace. That looks really good too. Um, kept the brick, natural wood mantle here, kept the windows. Um, has nice, it added a rug. So I really like this. Um, let's go with this one. Now again, you know, you can go back through all your renders and you know, look at all the different options available. But when you're done and you have one that's close enough, just click accept. Um, I would do a couple more things probably here, like remove this chair, because this really doesn't add much to the image. And it's it's trying to match the existing structure of your room. That's why it's keeping this thing here. Um, and then the last thing you wanted to do was you wanted to explore built-in shelving. So again, we're gonna use the replace tool for that. And we're going to say we actually want to replace this entire wall. Uh, maybe not this lamp, but everything here. We're going to keep the TV. Because the TV is kind of in the center usually of, you know, built-in shelving. So essentially we're going to replace all this. I kept a little bit of white around the TV because we still want to show that there's a white wall back there. Um, but that's probably good enough. Did I cover everything? Yes. And then we're gonna say something like, uh, beautiful built in shelves with tasteful decorations. Let's actually say full wall, full wall built-in shelves. Um, and again, this process, you can play with descriptions as much as you want, hit generates as many times as you want until you get something that's close to what you like. Um, it can also help decide what do you like in the first place. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can do repeated operations and use the replace tool again to fix something that you don't like or change a smaller area. And then I'm gonna show you after this another way that you can go about um, replacing an area of an image that's a lot of fun, um, especially if you're a Pinterest user or something. So that's really nice. That's also really nice. I like all of these. Now this one isn't a full wall. It kind of kept this wall back here. So I don't know what you're shooting for. I kind of like the full wall. Um, I don't know about the gap at the top. 
this one I really like. You know, obviously it'd be custom because you've got to build it all the way out to the walls, but you're keeping the TV and you're building a nice shelving system with some decorations and some cabinetry at the bottom. So another way to go about doing this um, would be to use a style image. Now I went on Pinterest before and I searched for built-in shelving um, and I downloaded an image and saved it to my phone. So let me see, I put it in Pinterest somewhere right here, I believe, yes. So essentially this is the image that I downloaded off Pinterest as an inspiration image. I really like this. Um, you got nice clean cabinetry at the bottom, shakers, you know, nice clean uh, cubby holes around the top. So now we're gonna use this image as the inspiration for what to replace back here. Again, this is the area we asked it to replace. So we're keeping the TV and I'm gonna click generate. And now it, instead of using our custom description, it's gonna to try to match the style of the image that we provided. This can be a lot of fun if you're an Instagram user or Pinterest user, because you can just go on those sites or Howls or any of them and basically just save images that you love. Um, I really like that. That is very close to, I think, what we wanted. That's interesting, but you know we don't really need a wood storage place for our fireplace. Um, that's really nice too, but it moved it in a little bit. Um, but you know, again, that's pretty close to what we were asking for. Um, decorations around, cabinets at the bottom. So I really like that. Again, you can you know hit generate all day until you find something that you like more, and then when you're done, click accept. Um, so at this point, we've done a couple different operations. Let me go back, the undo button. We started there, we were, no, we actually started there. We removed the dog toy and the chair. Then we did a full remodel. And then we did a replace again of this with our style image. And again, you could use the prompt or the style image depending on what you wanna do. I really love this where we're ending up. The last thing I would usually do is I go to the upscaler and I'd say, okay, I want a much bigger image, higher resolution image. Um, and so that's kind of a final trick that you can do to replace the image with a much higher resolution. And you can see when you zoom in here, you know, it's really made a lot of the details sharper so that when you're looking at the image, it looks much better. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can go about exploring different options and playing with different tools to build out the vision that you're really going for. I would probably do a little bit more work on this image. I would remove whatever these things are. Um, looks like some decorations at the foot. You know, use the remove tool to kind of remove that, clean those things up. Maybe you could put something on the wall over here. I would probably remove this chair. But this, you know, the same basic tools that you've already played with, which is the full remodel and the replace tool, you can do a lot in building out your vision. So hopefully, Erica, that helps give you some ideas of what you can do with this room and give you some ideas on how you can play with the app to build out your vision. Appreciate your post. Thank you.